Hello healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is another fun pick a card video and this one is all about you thinking about one person and what do they feel about you. Alright, so think about one specific person, whether you are with them or you or you're just uh, interested in them or you have a relationship. You just think of this specific person and choose one of the cards or the crystals whichever one resonates with you the most and just think what do they feel about you right now okay go group number one two or three go with your intuition your first your first choice is most likely the right one so go with the gut feeling if you want to concentrate on the cards or the crystals this is just heart shape ones and um, if you want to concentrate the crystal or the card it's up to you just go with the gut feeling, it's most likely the right one, but of course I'm happy if you watch the whole video and just choose which one best resonates, alright? So just think of this specific person, what do they think about you? Group number one, two, and three. Like always I say, this is general, if you want something very specific, I do private readings, I'm always happy to hear from you if you want to contact me, okay? But uh, in any case, just have fun. Pick one of them, I'll leave the timestamp below for you. Okay? Thanks very much for watching. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful white heart crystal here, we leave it here to help us out. What do they feel about you? Think about this specific person. Alright, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we also have the Hope card and the Dress of Alchemy, Release Your Power card. We more into the, into some Halloween vibes here already. And we have the Candy Cane Angel, It's Time for a treat. Alright, some lovely cards here for, for you. Group number one. Very interesting here in a way that uh, what this person thinks, alright? So they, what do they feel about you, right? So they feel like you're definitely a very strong person, alright? So they see you like this queen of swords here, someone who can be very straightforward, who can um, be very true to yourself, cutting all, any, cutting away any fear, anything that is not serving you, any you're not afraid to speak, to speak up or, you know, to do what you want. They feel like you're very this this is strong person, right? So they feel like they need to be this king of pentacles for you. They need to be this person who will protect you, who will uh, bring security to you. That's the, what they want to be. All right. Whether, like I say, you are with them or you are, they are trying to per persuade you. I feel like for some of you, they are trying to persuade you, and they are showing up all the, or they try, or they want to, or they will very, very soon show up here like this knight of of wands, all with all the passion, with everything they want to do, being being a bit straightforward with you, because they really hopeful that. Uh, Everything that they are planting uh, towards your way, they will be able to to get some results from you. So they're really that for some of you is really someone who is just persuading you, and someone will not you're not with them yet. But uh, like I say, even if you are, this is someone who is really trying to be there for you, protect you, showing you the security, the whether it's money wise as well, and uh, in all areas. They're trying to show you security, but showing you the passions as well. And they are really hoping that you're going to be able to, to like, um, gather all the things that you have uh, done so so far. But if they're not with you, this is someone who are, like, uh, they got to a point where they, like, I showed everything, I did everything I could, and I'm not sure what else I can do now. I do hope. They have hope to be with you. Like I say, if they are already with you, they hope to be with you forever. They are, they are really hoping to be 
with just with you all right or get to the point of a more stable relationship if you're not yet at that point so they are trying to go to the next level or like i say if they are new they really hope to be with you and the, this here this um the dress of alchemy here release your power they're really hoping that you're gonna release a little bit of this powerful persona that they feel like you have like they really see you really powerful and they're hoping that there is time um you know it's time for a treat they really hoping that you will have now be able to move to the next level and um like i say be happy and be together and have some more time so they're really hoping that you're gonna have some time alone and um like i say if, even if they are with you or not they're hoping to have more time with you and they're hoping for you to be i'd say uh, more vulnerable you no know, to release the power and the, to accept his offers if it's someone who's not in your life yet or like i say if it's someone who is in your life they are hoping to 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 get to that this other this next phase where they don't see you so powerful not that they're not happy to see you like that but you they are hoping to that you'll be more vulnerable vulnerable and be more connected so it's like they feel like they did everything to show you what that they want to be with you and they they're trying to show you maybe in a way that you may not be receiving straight away or maybe you are but they they cannot see that you that you are happy with the, their the way they are showing you love or they're showing you that they want to be with you so they are really not sure yet because they see you like this Queen of Swords, so they are not sure about the way you feel, in a way, like uh, if this is a new person in your life or someone who you are not serious yet, it's like an, if it's a new enough relationship, they are not sure about your feelings, because, uh, you know, that's how they feel, like they are a bit insecure, because they're like, they show everything to you, they're just waiting, they're hoping that, you know, there's gonna be a, like, um, like I say, time for treat so that they're hoping that all the efforts that they have put through so far in this whether it's a relationship or it is a new something new to start or quite new relationship like i said they're hoping that uh, it's time for treat now they are showing you they definitely want to be with you and they wanted to be there for you and show you all the security show you passion and be you know have time to it's like they planted everything that they could. So they're hoping to be, you know, just ripening the benefits now of all the persuasion and everything they did for you. So they're really hopeful. But like I say, if they're already with you, they're hopeful to be with you. But they are hoping as well to for this release of power, like not to not have power. Like it's for, for them, it's like to move, the to shift a little bit the power to their side because they really see you as this strong queen of swords here a little bit close so maybe if you really want to be with this person just show a little bit your emotions your that you want to be with them and there will be really like i say the time for treat like uh, um you're gonna have happy times because they definitely want to be with you they are showing you everything they can like on their way like like i said maybe it's not the way you are completely happy with or maybe it's not something that you're showing that you accepted, but uh, they are showing the way they know how to, you know. So don't always judge someone the way they're showing you love or expressing themselves. This is just maybe the best that they can do at this point, and uh, they're really hopeful and they're really hoping to be with you. And um, so if it's if you want it, you know you can really go for it because this person really wants to be with you. Okay. So let me know, group number one, if it resonated. I'm going to be really happy to hear from you. And let me know, leave me a comment. Like I say, if you want something very specific, let me know. Send me a message. But I see happy times here for you. If you want, it's just a matter of you responding back to them. But they really feel like they did everything they could. They're just waiting for you to show like some green light their way. Okay, group number one, let me know if it resonated. And thanks again for being here with me. Thank you. 
group number two if you chose this beautiful amethyst crystal here leave it here to help us out so you know the person you're thinking about what do they feel about you we have here the knight of cups we have the tower we have the knight of swords all the knights and we have the queen of wands interesting cards here we also have the angel card here surrender we have some already Halloween vibes here with the cards I have it's out trick-or-treating we are here I'll explain this card in a bit and we have the grumpy red fairy <laughs> be your true self okay interesting cards here group number two very interesting what does this person feel about you all right so this person is really coming here showing you everything or they did already or if you're already with them or I feel like it could be new for some of you they they show you all their emotions the way they want everything like they definitely wanted to be with you but they do also feel that being with you is like uh, this tower here they would have to rebuild their lives they would have to to start over to be with you right so they definitely want to be with you but they have some resistance here in a way that they are a bit afraid of having to you know to completely change who they are like starting over and they may have to in for some of you there may be some change that need to be done for them to be with you so they have that a little bit of that fear but they really want to be with you so but they feel like they they wanted to cut away anything that's stopping this uh, relationship right now to to progress whether like i say maybe already with this person and they are showing you how they feel as well and they feel like you have to start over and rebuild Maybe you have gone through some difficult times with them already, but they are definitely they showing you everything they can. And they feel like it's time to cut away anything that is not serving this relationship or anything to make this progress at the moment. And um, because they see you like this queen of wands here, or they at least they want you to feel like this queen of wands, that you have the passion you have the power, you have uh, everything that you want. So, but they have some fear here of restarting or having to rebuild as well. All right. So they they really feel like they want you in a way to surrender, right? This, like this, this energy, this situation that is going on at the moment, you know, specifically your situation, of course, but I feel like there's something like they're hoping you to surrender, well, a little bit of, I'm not saying power, but uh, they maybe maybe some compromise in this relationship in this situation. They're hoping you to to compromise here, so it's not a completely rebuild, but it's like what can you take and uh, still utilize from this situation, and uh, to not uh, in a way they feel like you're judging them for what is showing. So especially if you are uh, new, like this person is new with your life, maybe you they think like you're judging. Like this card here means more like you know, judging the book for its cover, you know, in a way that um, don't uh, don't think someone is showing you who they are, but they could be like in this like these guys here. They could be just covered in you know in some costumes. So they feel like they are showing you everything they can, but you're still judging them and just uh, from who they are and like like you are not really seeing them from the truth from who they are even though they're showing you so that's why they feel like do they need to rebuild everything for you to understand who they are and uh, be true to yourself so he is being true to to you all right see so it's i mean i say he but he she all right so don't don't take that in a bad way it's just the habit of saying but they are trying to uh, really be true to who they are so they are trying their best really to show you like I said they're just a bit afraid and they're just hoping you're not gonna judge them 
for like the way they're approaching you is just um, they're doing the best that they can I feel they're hoping you you surrender a little bit of the they feel like you're judging them like for some of you they do feel like you're too good for them all right so they feel like they are not as good as they could be so because you see like they show themselves as knights but they see you as a queen so they see you higher than them in a way they don't see like your equals some of you all right it will resonate with some of you, you will know and uh, so they are just trying their best they just feel like they need to become someone else and they need to be uh, maybe someone else to be with you so that's why i feel like for some of you they don't feel like they deserve you or but if you wanted to be with this person i would say go with this surrender card here and show them that you're actually not judging them for like uh, the book you know with the cover like i say like uh, don't you're not just judging them and uh just be true to yourself in this card here is, is i feel like it's mainly for both sides in a way that they are showing you everything they're true they're being true to you you can believe this person but they also want you to be true to them like be honest with them and uh, maybe explain to them who you you actually are if there's some compromise here surrender maybe of uh, this feeling of this power that uh, he thinks that you have so much and he doesn't she and uh, understand that uh, it could be a rebuild when you wanted to build a new relationship but you can always use the foundations that you already have so the 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 understanding of what you already bring each one is bringing to this relationship to be able to grow and rebuild this tower this tower together but they do feel like um, not all the time i say if you're already with this person for a while but from time to time they feel like they don't deserve you and uh, you're judging them so just uh, be honest with them you know and um, i say communication is key in any relationship whether you're already with them for a while or if this is new always be true to yourself anyway so this card here i say is from both sides they are definitely showing you who they are and i feel like they are they're trying their best and they still see you as this queen and they are they're really hoping to cut away any fears but they are, they really need to see something from your side as well they are waiting to have some surrender some some kind of response from your side so i feel like they see you very powerful and uh, they fear that they have to be someone else to be with you and uh, maybe like i say that is the case it's, it's in, at some point uh, or like but not really the person does need to change completely to be you know with someone else we grow together and we learn together but we accept people how they, who they are as well so if you want to accept this person uh, the way they are and uh, grow together you can rebuild this this tower together all right just make sure you are true to yourself and true to them as well so they understand they because they see you really like i say um, like they don't deserve you from time to time at least so show them that if you want to be with them of course that uh, you know they do deserve you not judging them and uh, you you both can be honest with each other okay communication is key here group number two so that's what i feel and uh, this you can trust this person is really trying their best it's they really are being honest with you all right so let me know if you resonated in some way i'm gonna be really happy to hear from you group number two very interesting cards here it's up to you if you want them into your life just be true to yourself this is the main card here for you okay again if you resonated let me know and or if you want something very specific for your situation do contact me i'm gonna be really happy to hear from you okay thanks very much for being here with me and for watching group number two group number three if you chose this beautiful pink heart here pink quartz you know the person you're talking about you're thinking about what do they feel about you we have here the five of pentacles we have the king of cups we have the hanged man we have the four of cups we also have the patience cards 
the sea storm calm amid chaos. We have some um, Halloween vibes here already. And the witch of end of the world. Uh, the witch at the end of the world. An important end, a new beginning. Right, group number three. Those are your cards here. Very interesting. What does this person feel about you? All right. With the five of pentacles here, it's it's really a feeling of um, the feeling left out. All right. Like not being able to see the big picture, not being able to see that... Um, there is a light inside here. Maybe you are offering them something. You are being honest with them, but they are not being able to see that or not being able to see your point of view in this situation, whether you are this, with this person for a while or not. With some of you, I feel like you are. but uh, Or you know them for a while. You may not be as a relationship with them for a while, but they are feeling left out. They are not being able to see your point, right? And... Uh, at the moment, with the King of Cups here, it's they are trying to hold on to their emotions, all right? Being able to, ex they're trying to express themselves with their emotions, but they are trying to sit here like this King, like in the, holding on all this, all the emotions going around, all the turmoil, and they're trying to hold on and not um, uh, letting the emotions, you know, flow and. Uh, in a, in a crazy way, they are trying to be expressing and being able to to communicate properly, but they are feeling like all the water, all the turmoil around them. They are really hoping for with this hanged man here with some time, like alone, like um, on their own, not ending a relationship or anything like that, but feeling like they need time to to gather their thoughts and understanding how the how to go to the next step. And uh, maybe you are already offering them some solutions and showing them how you feel, but they are not accepting, right? They are a bit closed up. But it's not because that's how they want it to be. They just needed this time here alone. Like I said, it's not ending a relationship or anything like that, but they do need the time for themselves. They're asking you for patience, all right? They're hoping. They feel like they need some patience from you at the moment because, you know, there is a calm amid the chaos. So he, they feel like there's a bit of chaos. Oh, it has been. Maybe there's, there was, like I say, some of you already in this situation and there has been some miscommunication or fight or some harder times and like where the emotions were pouring and, um, you know, and then... You couldn't see each other's point of view. So they feel like maybe it's time to 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 have some time alone just to think, just to gather their thoughts, just to have some guidance and understand what to do next. And like I say, maybe you offer them a solution or a way and they're still not accepting anything because they want this time. They really want to, the patience card. It's here very clear. They really need the calm amid the, sto the, the chaos. They need this time to gather the thoughts and to understand what to do next. But uh, um, an important end, a new beginning. This card is here showing really for some of you, not like, a, like I say, an ending of relationship. Maybe for some of you, all right, it's an ending of a relationship. But I feel like many of you, is not an ending of relationship. It's just a new phase of the relationship that you, you have to move uh, uh, through now because... This person feels like they need some time alone and some time to be able to have, you know, asking you for patience because they need uh, to be calm right now in this situation. And they need, it's an important ending and it's a new beginning. Like I said, maybe for some of you it's a real end of a relationship and, and a new beginning, but I feel like for many of you, just an ending of the phase, this phase in this relationship, like this, this ending of, miscommunication of not expressing yourselves properly he wants to be like a king of cups the king of cups is someone who can communicate properly but he's not being not together with this this uh, five of pentacles here so maybe that's the way they wanted to feel but they need the time 
alone and the time to think about it, to then gather the thoughts to get to this point. But they're not there yet. So they're asking for patience. What they feel right now, they feel like they need the time and they need you to be patient. So they feel like the patience is everything they need right now. The time away, like this hanging man here, time to be illuminated, to get to gather the thoughts, to come to a decision to have some calm amid the storm, the, the chaos here, like this card. And uh, like I say, it's an important ending. Like I say, the important ending of this phase of the relationship right now because um, it's like they couldn't carry on the way they were feeling here with this 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 bad feeling or this miscommunication. And it's just a time to like start again the relationship in a new phase. Is a new beginning for this for the two of you, or maybe it's a new beginning for some of you who will just head enough and think like this is it. I don't want any way. And however they feel like, right now it's not good enough. You made all your offers. You try your best to show them the light, and they don't want to see. If you want to have patience, I feel like you will be able to start again the new beginning with this person. All right. But you will need patience. If you don't want it to go to the patient side and you're already fed up and you are, you feel like you have done already enough and they just don't move, then it's going to be a new beginning without this person. Because the way they feel right now, it may not be good enough for, for some of you. You're like, this is, you're fed up already. But if you have patience, you will be able to rebuild this. All right? So depend on how, what you want, of course, and who you're thinking about. But if you want to have patience, you will be able to, to have a new beginning. It's going to be an important ending of this phase of the relationship. Like uh, no communication, no proper expressing their emotions. You know, both sides many times because it does take two. But it needs to end this way of speaking, this way of uh, communicating. Maybe being, um, you know, using really bad words towards each other. There's, there's really no need for that and if that's the way some of you are feeling if you have patience it's time to end this phase and start a new beginning in the same relationship okay i'm not saying to end anything but it depends of who you're asking about and if you want to have this patience but the, what they feel right now they feel like they just need some time okay it's not like they want to end but i feel like they really need the time and they want you to be patient they feel like you need some patience now they need patience as well to be able to move to this new phase. But it's up to you, of course. You have the willpower to change things. And it's up to you if you wanted to, to have the patience, if you wanted to take the time for them. So you, you, you make the final decision, of course. But if you do have the patience, there's definitely a new beginning, a new phase into the relationship. And it could be much happier and you could be really see the light at the end. Okay? So this is what I see, group number three. Let me know if it did resonate with you. I know it's not uh, like happy, happy like or anything, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, right? So a new beginning can be really, really happy after some hard times in a relationship. So don't give up if you don't want to and use the patience card here. Okay, have patience. Is the Archangel Michael here with you? All right, you have that um, help as well, the higher powers if you need. So let me know if it resonated. I'll be really happy to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Or if you want something more specific, send me a message. If you want to send me a private message, I'm always happy to hear from you. Okay? If you're here with me till right now, thanks very much, group number three. Thanks very much for watching.